Hey geeks, super quick video for you today. We're gonna learn how to disable programs on startup or basically make sure that you don't have any apps or programs automatically loading in Windows 10. Now, there are two ways to do this. I'm gonna go through both methods, and if you stick around to the end, I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip that I recommend you check out anytime you go through your apps to disable them. All right, let's jump into the first method. All right, the first method involves the Windows 10 settings for apps, and it actually has a place where you can enable and disable apps on startup already built into the options. Just go to your search menu and type startup. Startup apps should show up on the listing. Go ahead and click on that to get started. Once you have this menu open, you'll see it says startup and startup apps, and it says that you can configure which apps will start once you log in. As you scroll down the list, you can clearly see which apps are enabled and which apps are disabled, and it also tells you the estimated impact that it's gonna cause when you boot up your computer. Some of these have no impact, some have medium, some have high impact. As you can see on my system, I don't have a lot starting up with my computer, that's how I like it, but there are a few essentials that you might wanna leave on if it's something that you use all the time or you find yourself opening up. Simply go through the list one by one and turn off the items you don't need and leave the ones on that you do. The biggest culprits on this list are usually game launchers and software service launchers that basically always want to run in the background and they want to open up when you load Windows for the first time. So turn those off if you don't use them all the time. Now, let's check out the second method. It's just as easy, but it may be a little more intimidating if you're not familiar with the task manager. Let's jump in. To open up the task manager, just press Control alt delete and it'll open up a menu that lets you click on task manager. Once it's open, you might see a screen like this or you might see just this small screen here. If this is what you see, go ahead and click more details to open up the bigger picture. From here, go to the top tabs and you'll see one called startup. Click on that startup tab and you'll see a list of items very similar to the startup list that we saw before. What I like to do is sort this list by status so that you can immediately see which ones are enabled first at the top, and you can also look at the startup impact there on the right, just like in the other menu. In this case, the process is similar, but a little different. If you want to disable any of these items, just right click on it, and then click on the disable button. Once you disable it, it'll move to the bottom of the list if you have it sorted by status, and just go through one by one and check them the same way that you would using the other method. Now I mentioned a couple of bonus tips. Here's bonus tip number one. All right, bonus tip number one is this. If you have an issue where when you log into your computer using your Microsoft account and you don't want this account information to carry over to any of the apps that are loading or specifically your web browsers, you can check one option that's a little bit hidden in the settings and it won't carry over that sign in to these apps. You'll have to sign in again manually. You may not want to do this, but if you do, here's how. Just head over to the start menu and type sign in options. Click on the top link that says uh, sign in options under settings and you'll see a screen that looks like this. If you scroll down, you'll see an option that says use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up my device after an update or restart. If you leave this on, it'll automatically sign in to some of the programs and web browsers that you use with your account information. If you select off, it won't do that on a restart and you'll have to manually enter it in when you restart the computer. All right, bonus tip number two. Whenever you go through and audit your startup programs, I also highly recommend that you look through and see if there are any programs that you just want to go ahead and uninstall and delete. This is a good opportunity to see what's running on your computer and see what you don't use anymore. Uninstalling these programs not only means that you won't have to worry about it starting up automatically, but you won't have to worry about the extra disk space involved either. So let's see how to do this. Just click over to the search bar and type add or remove programs. Click on the top option and you'll see the settings menu open to apps and features. This list will include all of the apps and programs that you have installed on your computer. Now, it will tell you the approximate size and the date that you installed it. And what you can do is you can sort it by size or install date. So you can look for the oldest programs first or the largest programs first, depending on what you're looking for. But anytime that you want to remove one of these programs, you'll simply click on it once with the left click and then click install. 
Once you wait for the process to finish, that app or piece of software will be removed from your computer and you won't have to worry about it taking up space or starting automatically with Windows 10. Hopefully these couple of methods and bonus tips helped you out with your situation. If it did, be sure to let us know in the comments. And if you still have questions about this topic, be sure to leave a comment as well asking a question. I'll be sure to answer it myself personally and maybe even make a video about your question in a future date. Thanks for watching.